In this example, I'm going to graph the line whose equation is given to us as 3x minus 4y equals 8, and this is in standard form. So the way we're going to graph this is by first rewriting this equation in slope-intercept form, and then I can grab its y-intercept and slope and go ahead and grab it that way. So in order to do that, I need to solve for y. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract 3x from both sides. When I do that, I have negative 4y equals negative 3x plus 8. And the reason I'm going to sneak the x in front is because I want it in y equals mx plus b form. So I want the x before my constant. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide every single term by negative 4. So I have y equals, then two negatives cancel to make positive 3 fourths x. And then positive 8 divided by negative 4 will be negative 2. So now I have the equation of this line. I've rewritten it from standard form to slope-intercept form. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a graph. I'll move this up a little bit, but we can still see the equation. So my y-intercept is going to be negative 2, which means I'm going to plot the point along the y-axis, negative 2. And then from there, I'm going to use the slope, which was 3 fourths, so positive 3 and positive 4. So rise over run means up 3 over to the right 4, because that's in the positive direction. And I can do that a couple of times. I can also go back the other way, and I can go down 3 and back this way 4. And you'll notice that all those points will be collinear. So let's go ahead and grab my straight edge. Go ahead and uh, draw this nice line. Okay, put arrows on the end. So I have now graphed the equation. It was initially given to us in standard form. This 3x minus 4y equals 8. I went ahead and changed that to slope-intercept form, and then I used its y-intercept and its slope to go ahead and graph this line.